is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. Well, the official numbers are in. We talked about this at 430 and we did not break any records in the Springs in Puebla, but check it out. The high today in the spring 68. The record was 70 and that was set 95 years ago back in 1925 and in Pueblo also two degrees away from a record high 74 today. The record set back in 1910. That's a record that goes back 110 years and we were pretty close to it but just not close enough to break it right now in the springs still in the mid 60s. So a fairly mild start to the evening here after a beautiful day today. 71 still in Pueblo. I think once the sun sets here in the next half hour, we'll see those temperatures begin to cool down and for Pikes Peak, which in winter spends many days below freezing and below zero at that seeing relatively comfortable conditions is 22 at the summit right now with an east wind at about 12 miles per hour. Dominating the national picture is this west coast cold front, which is spreading rain and snow across a good part of the western third of the US. On the east coast, it's fairly quiet. You can see no rain or snow pretty much from the Midwest all the way through the Great Lakes stakes and the eastern seaboard. Now this system is the one that we'll be watching closely as this is expected to push that ridge of high pressure off to the east and bring us some changes to the weather pattern late Sunday into early Monday. Now it's not going to be a significant rain or snowmaker, and there's actually quite a bit of warm air to work with. So most areas below 8,000 feet will see rain and not snow with this system. So tomorrow morning, starting out the day above freezing across the I-25 corridor. In fact, many areas above freezing with 30s and 40s. Really nice start to the day out there on Sunday, and it's going to be a beautiful afternoon. I think temperatures are going to be down about three to six degrees. Dry skies most of the day, but chance of rain does increase right around three o'clock. So between three and six p.m., I think we'll start to get some light rain, and that'll continue through late tomorrow night and into the overnight hours as well. So here's how that forecast looks again. Dry skies early will be in the 30s in the springs and Pueblo in the morning. 60 degrees at noon in the spring, 64 in Pueblo. Then by 4 p.m., chance of showers moving in around El Paso County here in southern Colorado. I want to take you out into next week and give you the first alert on a big change in the weather pattern. Uh, once we get past this little system Sunday night, Monday and a little bit of a cool down, we warm back up Tuesday, Wednesday. And then there could be a series of storms that moves in here into the West Coast, including right here into Colorado. Several rounds of rain and snow for now. It looks like better chances move in Friday and Saturday, but those finer details still have to be worked out. Once we get a little bit closer to those actual events, we'll give you a better idea of timing and strength of those systems. For tonight, we'll see lows down to the mid to upper 30s for the Springs of Pueblo. Walsenburg down to 39. Tomorrow, Walsenburg pretty mild at 59 here. 71 Pueblo and 64 degrees in the Springs. Again, it gets a little cooler Monday, but just a temporary cool down back up to the 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. A chance of precip Thursday, but better chances for rain snow coming in Friday and Saturday out across El Paso County. Now for Pueblo, we'll be in the 70s still on Sunday, but about three or so degrees cooler than today. 60s on Monday and then back up near 70 Tuesday and Wednesday. Potentially some higher fire danger risks next week with some wind in the forecast Tuesday into Wednesday as well. Canyon City will be in the 60s all the way through next Thursday. Chance of rain does pick up Wednesday, Thursday, only around 20% better chances for rain and snow heading into Friday and Saturday and at Woodland Park. I think we'll get some rain showers here tomorrow afternoon, possibly changing to snow and even a chance of some thunderstorms to be aware of Andy uh -oh. making our way into the higher elevations. So